Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video and in this video part 2 of my introduction to trigonometry are we going to be looking at possible and impossible triangles for a shape to be a triangle the longest side must be shorter than the sum of the other two sides because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. As the longest length increases in length so the opposite angle approaches 180 degrees. At 180 degrees the whole shape collapses into a straight line. Above 180 degrees the internal angle becomes an external angle and this forms a new triangle with internal angles less than with an internal angle that's less than 180 degrees. So the sh longest length must be shorter than the sum of the two shorter lengths. Likewise, the shortest side must be longer than the difference between the two other sides. As the shortest side gets smaller, the opposite angle approaches zero. At zero degrees, the whole shape will collapse into a straight line, and the shortest length will be the difference between the two longer lengths. So for a shape to be a triangle, the shortest length must be longer than the difference between the two longer lengths. Furthermore, the longest length must be shorter than the sum of the two shorter lengths. Mathematically, we can say that the absolute value, that is to say the value ignoring the sign of A minus B, must be less than C and that A plus B must be greater than C. OK, well, so much for the theory. Let's have a go at putting this into practice. Uh, we're given some triangles, and we're asked, are such triangles possible to draw to scale? In other words, can these triangles possibly exist? And could we, at least in theory, solve them to work out their angles, and their area and the height and all that kind of stuff. So the first triangle we're confronted with, here, the one length is 3 centimetres, the other length is 4 centimetres, and the other length is 5 centimetres. Well, the longest length is 5 centimetres, and 3 plus 4 is 7, which is bigger than 5, and the smallest length is 3 centimetres and the difference between 5 and 4 is 1 and 3 is bigger than 1. So yes, this is perfectly valid triangle. In fact, it's a well-known form of triangle called a 3-4-5 triangle. So the answer is yes. So the next triangle we're looking at uh, one length is 4 centimetres, the other length is 4 centimetres, and the other length is 4 centimetres. Well, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 4 plus 4 is 8, and all the lengths are greater than 0 and less than 8. So yes, that's a perfectly valid triangle. In fact, it's a special kind of triangle called an equilateral triangle. What about this triangle? We've got two lengths that are 5 centimetres and one that's 7 centimetres. Well, 5 plus 7 is 12 and 5 is less than 12 and 7 is less than 12. So the longest length, actually the longest length is uh, shorter than 5 plus 5 which is 10. So that's 5 plus 5 is 10. The two shortest lengths add up to 10 centimetres. The longest is less than 10, so yes, that's perfectly OK. And the difference between the shortest and the longest is 
2 centimeters, 7 minus 5 is 2, and the other length is bigger than 2. So yes, this is a perfectly valid triangle. In fact, it's called an isosceles triangle. So yes, that triangle could be drawn to scale and we could solve it. So we've got two triangles here that looks a bit like an isosceles triangle. We've got 4 centimeters and 4 centimeters, and the longer length is 8 centimeters. Well, 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters is 8 centimeters. So this triangle is impossible. This would collapse into a straight line. So no, this is not a valid triangle. You cannot draw this triangle because the longest length is equal to the sum of the other two sides. It cannot be equal to and it cannot be greater than the sum of the other two sides. And we have one last triangle. Uh, we've got 10 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and 1 centimeter. Well, the difference between 12 centimeters and 10 centimeters is 2 centimeters, and this shortest length is 1 centimeter, which is less than the difference between the other two sides. So, no, this triangle is not valid. The other thing you could say is that this uh, length is 12 centimetres and 10 centimetres plus 1 centimetre is 11 centimetres and this length is greater than the sum of the other two sides. So again, by both criteria, this triangle is impossible. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. I'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams. If you're taking your exams this year, good luck. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.